All right, let's get started. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone out to our city council meeting tonight, everyone that's here at the High Chaparral and those that are on uh, TV land. I've asked, uh, well, we've asked George Goose Beardall to give us our little inspirational talk and a prayer. So if you want to go up to the mic right there. Yep. We've got some golden nuggets here for everybody in this room and at home and also at home watching city council. I thought we'd start out with this right here. Back years ago when I was teaching school, in the building they had a little thing to kind of uh, improve the uh, morale in the building. And so if you wanted to write something nice to some other teacher or a student, you could, and this is what I got in my box one day. It said, Dear George, what a grin. We want you to know that the grin is what keeps us going. Now you need to ask yourself, what keeps you going? I didn't think my grin or the way I do things was influencing anybody but apparently it was. And this is from the administration. That is, thanks for what you do to make the kids at Westlake feel good. What do you do to make people feel good? Think about it. And then they said, keep up the good work, the administration. Okay, we got some golden nuggets for you. This is by a gal named uh, Bonnie Moore, M-O-H-R, and it's called Living Life. And the way I look at it, life is for living, not dying. So we need to get living our lives. Here's what she says. Life is not a race, but indeed a journey. Be honest. Are we honest in our dealings? Think about it. Work hard. Or do you want a handout? Be choosy. Yeah, I like that. Be careful with who you choose to hang around with. Say thank you. And I want to thank Mike Mendenhall for asking me to come down here tonight. Thank you. Say I love you. When's the last time you told your spouse or your uh, kids that you love them? Or the city council and the mayor? Uh, t say, say great job to someone each day. Go to church. Maybe you're not very religious, but you could go to church and try it out, see if it works. Take time for prayer. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Let your hand shake mean more than pen and paper. Yeah, Dad always taught us, if you give somebody your word, you better keep it. So think about it. And I love this right here. Love your life and what you've been given. It's not accidental. Yeah, things are hard right now. A lot of negativity going on, but there's a lot of good things out there too. Search for your purpose and do it the best you can. The way I look at that is you bring your A game, not A minus or B plus. You bring your A game in all that you do. Dreaming does matter. That word matters out there. You know, Black Lives Matter. 
matter's a big word right now. So dreaming does matter. It allows you to become that which you aspire to be. And I like this one. Laugh often. When's the last time you had a good laugh? And here, appreciate the little things in life and enjoy them. I like to go out in my backyard and just watch the birds, watch them sing. I used to like to watch my cat, what she was doing, and then she died. It's just those little things. Find them. Some of the best things really are free. It didn't cost me anything to get in here tonight. Do not worry. Less wrinkles are more becoming. So if you look in the mirror and your face looks a little wrinkled, maybe you need to uh, eliminate some of the stress in your life. Forgive. It frees the soul. And I like this one. Take time for yourself. When's the last time you went in the bedroom? Just you and a book. Take time for yourself. Plan for longevity. Recognize the special people you've been blessed to know. Wow. There's nobody more special than those that reside in those four walls of your house. I love my wife, and she's watching, so, hon, I love you. Love them. I love my kids, too, those two that we can't see and those three that we can. Live for the day. Enjoy the moment. Think about it. Enjoy this moment tonight. And in the church news... President Nelson gives us the th uh, ABCs of spiritual growth. He says, be attractive, not outwardly, but inwardly. Put a smile on your face. Yeah, that's right. That's okay. She said, laugh often. Yeah. He said, the B part in the ABCs is be bright. Your face is a reflection of your spirit. Every time you walk in a room, brighten that room up and learn something new each day. And then the C and the ABCs is build your character. Be dependable. Be honest and be full of integrity. And... I've taught down at the jail the last 18 years. And now with the COVID, I haven't been down there since March. Right towards the, before the virus came, the inmates started to get a little bit complacent because they go, okay, Goose is here. Goose is going to have another great lesson. So I can just sit back and not really do anything. Now you think about complacency. Have you become complacent, thinking the city council's going to do it all? We've got to do our part. And I leave this with you. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Thanks, Goose. Have I got the prayer? Okay. Good evening, Father in heaven. As we open this city council this night, we want to thank thee especially for thy son, thy beloved son, Jesus Christ, and what he's done for us. We thank, the, thank him for the atonement, and we thank Joseph Smith for the restoration. And we thank thee for our, all our great prophets, especially our living prophet, President Nelson. 
Father, we pray that we'll always bring our A game in all that we do, no matter how simple or how hard, that we'll bring our A game. Bless those that take part here tonight, that they'll have thy spirit to be with them. We pray that nobody came with a bitter feeling in their heart. We pray that they'll have patience for themselves and also others. And we thank thee for this time, Father. Bless us that we'll do all we can to be protected from the virus, that we'll reach out and not forget about our family members or our neighbors, those that live alone, those that are struggling. Please be with those that are mourning the loss of a loved one this night. Again, Father, we love thee very much. We love our Mother in Heaven as well and the Godhead. We leave this prayer unto thee, Father, and we do it in the humble and in the sacred name of the Master, that being Jesus Christ. Amen.